Hello from the shores of Lake Jackson in Wyoming. Let's talk a little bit about nature and how important that is for mental health and mental fitness as I, as I think about the things that are just really important for my personal mental health and things that I recommend to my patients and people I work with. Getting time in nature is really up at the top of the list. And, th and there are a few important reasons for that. So I wanted to break it down a little bit and explain why nature is so good for your mood and so good for your mental health and your mental fitness. So the first is just getting away from people and getting into nature and, and getting away from people. Not like, you know, people are horrible. You don't have to be away from them forever, but getting a little break is helpful. There are a few reasons for that, I think. One is that, you know, no matter how extroverted a person is, there's a way that we um, think about how we're being seen. We think about um, how we're presenting ourselves when we're in public or with other people or even in group settings where it's, you know, friends who we're close with. There, there is something that's very different than being all by yourself, just with the self, particularly in nature. I find that when I'm just with myself, for example, driving in a car or, I don't know, waiting in the airport, you know, those are nice times with the self. But time in nature is, I think, a very special way to experience the self. What comes up for you? What do you begin to notice? You know, uh, I've, I've been here on this beach and just, I'm not, not the kind of person that usually looks around uh, picking up rocks, but I've just had a wonderful time uh, kind of exploring all of the different uh, aspects of nature here as I've wandered around this beach this morning, just kind of strumming my guitar and hanging out. Uh, another reason that nature is really important for us is it gives us uh, access and, and um, to that sense of vastness. This happens for a lot of people in religion or in church, but a lot of people who I work with who are focused on their mental health and and, and maybe haven't been raised uh, within a church or, or don't have religion as part of their history, uh, time in nature can be really helpful in, in terms of uh, getting in touch with a sense of something larger than the self. So really two things there, right? Getting in touch with the self and then kind of seeing um, our place in the world a little bit. Uh, another reason getting into nature helps change our mood, it gets us away from triggers usually. Um, if you've had any sort of trauma, whether that's uh, uh, you know, physical trauma, violence, whether it's trauma uh, around the trauma of, of grief and loss, whether it's been some other type of trauma, getting away from those triggers, which usually when we're in nature, we are away from, from many of those triggers, that, that's very helpful in terms of the whole nervous system kind of settling down a little bit. Another reason I like nature, it's the same reason I like to travel. There's something about a new environment with, you know, lots of new aspects all around me are, are new trees and flowers and, and, and pebbles and things, you know, fish jumping. I saw something swimming across the lake. I was sure it was a bear. We got out the binoculars. It was a duck. But, uh, and then a, a, a sort of a young deer just wandered up into our camp. So there's, there's all this kind of new stimulation and, I find that that's really powerful, especially right now as we're, you know, spending so much time stimulated in our phones. And so something about kind of looking up and out and getting curious and, and being kind of pulled in to the environment around us, that, that, that's a, that triggers a lot of dopamine in our brain. Dopamine's that uh, kind of chemical of new experiences. It's certainly part of what gets um, us excited about uh, sugar or drugs of addiction. Dopamine is kind of pleasure. One of its functions is pleasure and uh, focus in the brain. And so you can see how being in nature kind of triggers that, right? We take pleasure in kind of little silly things uh, um, like, you know, pebbles or, or the wind or the sunset, simple things. So those are some of the reasons that I think that nature really is helpful for our mental health, should be part of every serious mental fitness routine and, and plan. Uh, I hope that some of the aspects of why nature is helpful for the psyche, both uh, the way that we are with ourselves in a, in a different context when we're just in nature, uh, the way that nature intrigues our brain and kind of pulls in a almost dopaminergic response of, of looking for new things, of experiencing, um, you know, a lot of other neurotransmitters too, being, you know, feeling a sense of connectedness, feeling a sense of calmness. Um, and And then, of course, there's the way that just being in nature away from kind of triggers and noise and other people just allows us sometimes to settle down into a state that's very, very helpful and therapeutic. All right, I'm Dr. Drew Ramsey. I hope this helps you with your mental fitness. Until I see you next time, please keep feeding your mental health, keep taking care of your brain, and I'll, uh, I'll be talking to you soon.